Okay, folks, today, welcome back to Action Figure Imagery Tour Reviews. Action Figure Man here. Today, we're having a look at the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure, and I'm, I was, I've been wanting an action figure of this guy for a very long time. This is Mr. Hyde. Finally have him in hand, and also, this is my first completed Build-A-Figure in a long time. And right now, we're going to have a look at Mr. Hyde uh, detail-wise first before we... Um, Look at his articulation, and also there's a separate video um, that has all the figures. It's a summary, not really a review of every figure, but a summary of each figure that you have to purchase in order to get Mr. Hyde complete. Uh, now let's look at this build a figure up closer. Let me uh, adjust the camera. View this top first view his face, his head. Okay. Um, as for his, let me do it a little bit, just a little bit more like that. There we go. As for his head, um, unfortunately the hat cannot be removed. It's non-removable. It's attached to his head. However, if you're good at customizing, you might could pry it open with some wire pliers or something like that. And and if you, you probably could use that plastic that customizers use. I think it's called ABN plastic or something like that. Um, they use it to customize. You could probably customize him some hair if you can remove the cap from his head with some pliers or something. Or if you're strong enough, maybe even your own bare hands, uh, bare fingertips can remove it if you're really strong and can pull it off, pry it off. But good luck in doing that. And I would recommend buying another hide figure, or I mean, not a figure, but have an extra head. If you want to do that, uh, as for the details, the figure, his face, start with the face. He has, he has bloodshot red eyes, and gritted teeth, uh, angry expression on his face. Uh, you can't see his ears behind his hair. Now let's move down to the. Let me adjust my camera a little bit more. The tripod's a little shaky right now. It comes with his one accessory, which is his cane. Um, and also, you look at his hands, uh, he has very hairy hands like a gorilla, and he has kind of sharp um, fingernails, too. His hands look ape-like instead of human. Um, the vest, the coat and the vest are, are tied, to, are uh, like glued together, uh, sculpted together. You cannot, you cannot uh, remove the coat from the vest. And... Um, the only downfall about the look is um, if you raise his arm up, you'll see some of the white is uh, showing under his coat from the, you put them together right here. And it's, the other arm is the same way. Uh, if, that, if that bothers you, you can uh, get some green paint and paint this area if you want to, if it bothers you. If it doesn't, uh, just have his arms enclosed where, where it won't be seen on your display shelf. And... Closer look at his shoes, side of the figure, very cool figure indeed. I've been wanting Mr. Hyde in my collection for a long time. Finally got him as a builder figure. And as now let's go over to articulation and went over the details and have, have a closer look at his cane. Sorry, there we go. And I, this is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, that this item has been in the Marvel Legends line. And the cane fits very perfect in his hand. It's not loose, it's very tight fit. and. It only, it only, it's only, it's only uh, available for his right hand. By the way, you can't put it in his left. His left wasn't made for, as you can see. So it's only made for the right hand. And now, let's look at High's articulation. Starting with his head, you can move his head down that much, and up by. It's kind of restricted. The upper hip movement is kind of restricted by the hair a little bit. I never thought it would be, but I thought his hair would be short enough to uh, bend his head all the way up. But it, it it kind of touches his collar a little bit, so it's it's his hair is a rubbery plastic, but it still kind of restricts 100% backwards head head movement. And you can turn his head from side to side, 360 if you want to, but I'm not sure anybody wants to do that. And as for his arms. Outward movement, 
you got a, a little pivot right here shoulder area elbow bend like that alright arm can move up and down also and a swivel at the wrist of course you got elbow articulation and he does have an ab crunch um, you can't see it because of the vest but it's there or diaphragm frame whichever one it is but it's one of those but I know it's one of those and oh, he has a uh, camera almost fell uh, maybe just the camera so it won't fall again I'm going to have to hold the camera a little bit myself okay um, as for the lower articulation he does have waist articulation you see under the coat underneath the jacket uh, right here um, got an upper thigh swivel right here and he bend the knee back that far and got a pivot at the ankle and that's it for the articulation and now let's have a closer look at Hyde Mr. Hyde should I say in a slideshow, we'll look at him and closer look up, get a closer look at him in a slideshow, along with comparing him to other figures, the rest of the figures, and showing you what figures you need to complete this guy. So here comes the slideshow. Okay, folks, here we are with the slideshow, and here are the figures you need to build Mr. Hyde. It's the Silver Warrior, as you see, he comes with the the head of Mr. Hyde and Shang Chi comes with one of Hyde's legs right there you see all the accessories he comes with artificial intelligence Iron Man Tony Stark AI Iron Man Tony Stark comes with the other leg as you see villain known as Death Dealer comes with one of his arms left arm you see the extra accessories he comes with Jai Ling comes with the torso. As you see, you get a good portion of the figure when you buy Jai Ling, when you purchase Jai Ling. And Wen Wu, Shang Chi's father, comes with the right arm, as you see, along with the big cane. And there's, there's he is completed. There's Mr. Hyde completed. I still don't remember Mr. Hyde with a hat. Um, from what I know from the early Marvel comics, he didn't have a hat. Um, I assume that the hat is um, comes from the later comics, like uh, the mid 2000s or something. Maybe Marvel gave him a hat, but when they first created this character, uh, I don't remember him having a hat on. There's a so now you see that, that white showing under his arm. If they color 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 that green that would have been nice and also I forgot to mention if underneath Hyde's coat if you can pry his coat apart a jacket whatever you would prefer to call it you'll see that he's wearing some uh, suspenders underneath I thought that was kinda interesting um, well, it looks to be suspenders if you can pry it open you can see those and you see how tall he is again you see he's right at just right at eight inches. If he didn't, if he wasn't wearing the hat, he would probably be a, just a tad bit over seven inches tall. But the hat puts him right at eight inches, and there he is, fully assembled with his giant cane in his right hand. And there's a sorry about the flash being too bright on this picture. I mean, but on the next one, I got it under control. There it is. That's a better shot with less flash. There's a side view of him holding a cane. And one of Hyde's enemies is Cobra. If you're familiar, these two used to work together. And Hyde, um, he left Hyde in jail. They were partners, and he escaped jail. Now, okay, uh, there's Hornswoggle from WWE. I was trying to make a comparison since they both resemble a leprechaun a little bit. Let's see the difference between the two. But Cobra and Hyde are former friends, and turned enemies and Hyde wants to destroy Cobra for leaving him to rot in jail. They were partners. And you see 
it's my way of just having fun with the figures right there okay folks that's about it for this review right here uh, I hope you all enjoyed this review everyone have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video